In this video, we're going to be looking at two important data, which is the reverse repo at 1.35 trillion. We're also going to be looking at the amount of money short sellers have lost on ANC this year. And with these two data, it will indicate why we are at the beginning of a MOAS, how we have just triggered off the MOAS, and why we're going to see the price to skyrocket in the upcoming weeks. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at AMC Entertainment, single small AMC. Just like I said at the start of the video, we're going to be looking at two important data, along with some other stuff to obviously look at. And that showcases why we are starting to see the beginning of this MOAS, why we triggered. Let's first look at the short sellers. And so for those of you who watched my previous video, you'll know that I, I covered the cost to borrow max was at 72.76%. This doesn't mean for all short seller positions, but this obviously does mean that for some positions, the cost to borrow is extremely high. And so if we look at it over here and we see you know, the data, the latest data courtesy of S3 Partners LSE reveals that at the end of last week, so this was actually an article made on the 21st of, of September, short sellers who bet against AMC had lost 4.08 billion over the course of this year. The picture was obliquer for those who had targeted GameStop with the data revealing that short sellers year to year date losses stood at 6.44 billion cumulative. This shows that AMC and GameStop short sellers have lost 10.52 billion as we exit the third quarter. Now this is the first big important data because this obviously shows how well we're winning as apes and this obviously again shows how the hedge funds are you know losing money now obviously 4.08 billion is spread out through not just one hedge fund but multiple hedge funds and you know 4.08 billion to us to retail investors could be a lot but for the bigger firms for the bigger institution out there it may not be but what this means is that we are taking our first step forward what this means is that we are again like i said guys with the AMC, we are targeting like it's a ladder system. What that means is we are separating the institutions into three different levels. The small ones, the medium ones, and the higher ones. And first, you know, Citadel is obviously being one of the highest ones, but we're not targeting Citadel yet. That's going to be our end goal. Our first goals are to target the smaller ones, the smaller firms. And we're going to get them to cover their short positions. But them obviously covering their short position, what does this do? This increases the share price of AMC. But in return, it also makes it more expensive. And they will be, be at a bigger loss on the AMC shorts because the AMC share price has gone up. And so then we're targeting the medium-sized firms. Now, these medium-sized firms will obviously hold out a bit longer than the smaller firms because they have more cash piles. But eventually, it will come to a point where they understand that this loss is no longer viable. They no longer can afford to be in this loss with AMC. So they will start to cover their short positions. And because of the medium ones, they obviously have a bigger short position than the smaller institutions. And so we are going to see a bigger increase in price when they cover their short positions. And now finally, you know, we see AMC at a higher level where now it's obviously a bigger loss for even the likes of Citadel. They have to pay obviously more money. They're suffering more losses. And that will eventually be how we're going to leverage against Citadel, against the bigger institutions. And that's when we can see the short squeeze happen. Now, I'm going to be showing another data which indicates right now, you know, another reason why it actually correlates with all of this targeting smaller, medium and bigger firms and how it actually can help leverage using we can leverage it and use it to get you know against the hedge funds to cause the minds to happen and that is the reverse repo the reverse repo is at 1.35 trillion right now and pretty much there was a article in terms of made back in the days i think this was around three months ago where they said that during september we're going to likely to see reverse repo at 1.35 trillion or at least 1.3 trillion and you know here we are at 1.3 trillion and what reverse repo does is then with these with the reverse repo going up it just means that there will be less money to be loaned out for you know equity swap on the forex market and such it also leads to a liquidity crisis and what this liquidity crisis could you know lead to is obviously margin calls and i'm sure you know if you guys don't know what i'm talking about in terms of the liquidity in terms of the money lent out you guys definitely understand what margin call is and with these margin calls we can you know this is what we need for amc we obviously need the short sellers to get margin call so that they have to cover these positions in order for the short squeeze to happen and that is how we're going to leverage that in our way and so with the reverse repo reaching 1.35 trillion with the amount of money that amc sellers short sellers are losing right now you know these two combine really well in terms of understanding how well you know 
how we are looking at the beginning of a Moash because these are important questions and you know again guys feel free to check it out I've covered this previously in my videos in terms of the reverse reaper I also covered it in the article in terms of the uh, reaching 1.3 trillion by September so make sure you guys stay subscribed so you never miss our video if you haven't made it up to this far on the video Feel free to click that like button, it really helps out this channel because you guys are nothing but, you know, you spread this video to the whole community so everyone understands what's going on. Let's move on to some other data. We are looking at AMC Stone Cold Tracker here, 600,000 shares available to borrow. So not too much in terms of difference, you know, we were looking at 500,000 at one point throughout the day, but again, not too much problem. Going down here, and one thing I've noticed is that obviously with the share price going down, so we are at around 39.98 right now, hedge funds really trying to bring us down below this level of 50 MA, they obviously failed, we're still above it. And so it's really exciting to see what it does tomorrow because this showcase how well we can do right now. There's been a lot of dip buying, I showed you in my previous video about everyone buying, you know, over 90 million shares of retail purchase, net retail purchases of AMC. And you know, this obviously shows how British apes are for AMC. But one of the things is that they are trying to obviously target us at this level um, on 50 MA. So we do have to watch out for that. It's extremely important to understand, you know, why they target these levels and how important it is for them to not win the, in terms of these technical battles. But the thing that I was talking about is the calls and the puts. We see the calls in the money at 15,000, which yesterday we were looking at around 14 to 16,000 during that video of making. And the puts was even at around 14 to 16,000. But you can see today, at the end of the day, we've seen our puts in the money at 39,215. This puts us in the net sell position where it does indicate in a way that there is bearish signals in AMC. And now what I want to talk about is firstly, the importance of technical analysis, but also in a, in a way how it's not important. The reason why technical analysis and the reason why technical battles is important for AMC is because this gives an incentive for other people, not just the apes, but even normal people to buy into AMC, which helps us in the way that we have more money coming into AMC. So it obviously boosts the price up. With these prices going up, you know, there are different ways for us to leverage it. Firstly, we can see more options going to the money, which leads to a gamma squeeze. We can just see more confidence in AMC, so more people start buying AMC. And so, you know, there are factors of people why we need um, technical analysis to come into AMC, because just with the apes alone, I know there are more and more people buying shares, but at the end of the day, you know, every dollar helps. We have limited the amount of money in comparison to the hedge funds. We have limited the amount of money compared to, you know, bigger institutions, bigger funds like BlackRock, like Vanguard. And so with every re other retail investors who aren't the apes, but really just seen the opportunity in AMC and coming into the stock, it's obviously beneficial for us. And so that's why technical analysis is important as it shows why you should buy into AMC. Now, the reason for why AMC technical analysis is not important is because we obviously understand how manipulative AMC shares can get. We know this movement wasn't just because of people dumping their shares. We see this movement because there was part manipulation by the hedge funds. And so we apes obviously understand why, in a way, technical analysis can help us, but also in a way that we shouldn't really take it for how it is. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, so do take what I say grain of salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. But you know, it, it is understandable with how these hedge funds are manipulating the shares that is, you know, just not viable sometimes. And now looking at the last thing, this is by Ross Central Capital. MC is now the lowest IV we have seen in the last 11.5 months. Since 10.09, 2020, the stock closed that day at 4.05. MC now showing a similar comfort level at a price 10 times higher. So yeah, pretty much right now we are seeing a less, a lower IV level. And just like Ross Central Capital has said, you know, we are seeing more confident level. So with everyone being confident at this level, this will be the norm level. And in return, we're going to be attacking, you know, the higher prices now so that what it looks like here will be looking like that, but in a higher price level, because right now 40 is actually a normal level for AMC. And you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to press that like button down below, because you guys have nothing but help get this video spread out to the whole community. Also click that subscribe button so you never miss our video. On that, enjoy your day.